Atan recently shared with me his job may not be stable soon and he's looking into dry grab or comfort their grow to supplement his income. Atan always say comfort their grow is not a taxi company, meh. Then what? Bus company? Correct. Atan, you are right. Do you know that SBS Transit, our local bus and railway MRT transport provider, is also under the arm of Comfort Delgro? Comfort Delgro is not just a taxi company, but is a global land transport services provider with business in bus, taxi, rail, car rental and leasing, automotive engineering services, inspection and testing services, driving centers, non-emergency patient transport services, insurance broking services, and outdoor advertising. It has overseas business presence in these six countries, Australia, United Kingdom, New Zealand, China, Ireland, and Malaysia. Truly Asia. Do note that this is not any financial advice. And before we find out how is Comfort Dell Group performing in Q3 2022, remember to hit the like and subscribe button. Atan will greatly appreciate it. Okay, business as usual and sales is king. So first thing, we dive now into revenue contributed by different countries. From here, we can see that the revenue of third quarter 2022 at 41.9% compared to last third quarter 2031, 46.2% was lower for the overseas revenue contributions, although total revenue contributed is small. Most of the contribution is still in Singapore. We'll talk about the reasons near the end of this video. Let's come to the revenue segment to understand more about Comfort Delgo business operations. We can see from here why Atan is right. As more than 70% of the revenue comes from public transportation services, followed by the taxi segment. The rest are small kacang putih. Since total revenue is better than last year 2031, what is there to worry? If we take a look into the income statement again, operating costs went up by 10.5% in third quarter 2022 compared to third quarter 2021, while the revenue increase is 10.1% in third quarter 2022 compared to third quarter 2021. This is not even at the break-even level, and we can expect operating expenses to go up more in this inflationary environment. Another thing to look at is the COVID-19 government relief to comfort their growth. In third quarter 2021, the relief of 19.8 million was almost on par with the operating profit of 20.5 million. Hence, the relief did contribute to a substantial portion of the operating profit. With the easing of COVID situation in third quarter 2022, the operating profit with the COVID government relief stands at 58.8 million. However, the difference of operating profit of 18.5 million still cannot outweigh the operating cost difference of 77.6 million. So here, we have two bar charts of the operating profit by segment for third quarter 2022, one with government relief another without government relief and disposals. We can see that with the relief, it helps to ramp up the operating profit for Comfort Delgro in this segment, particularly for public transport services and taxi, which is also the main revenue generator. Particularly in third quarter 2021, for the public transportation services, where it doubled from 15.2 million to 32 million, driving down to the income statement quarter by quarter for 2022. Why there is a huge profit for first quarter 2022 is because of a one-time net gain disposal of property 37.9 million. As we can see, the operating profits for the quarter to quarter actually is decreasing, while the operating cost increases. Good signs are that the revenue is increasing quarterly, although at a slow pace. Diving into the two main components of the segment, public transportation services and tax. For public transportation services, the key takeaway message would be oil prices, foreign exchange, government reliefs in Singapore and United Kingdom, inflationary costs will be the major components in determining the Comfort Delgro business operations. For taxi services, easing of COVID restrictions in Singapore allow higher call volumes, lower COVID-19 rental discounts, 
has also allowed the operating costs to be maintained for the three quarters of 2022. Singapore Taxi Commission introduced in May 2022 also boosted the revenue. Atan will be happy to hear this. <laughs> the China Zero Covid Policy lockdown continued in third quarter 2022. However, the impact to Comfort Delgo will be minimal, as the revenue from that is insubstantial. With interest rate rising, the cash and short term deposits for Comfort Delgo has also increased in their balance sheet for the past nine months. We want to note that non current assets have decreased due to mainly disposal of vehicles and assets, which in turn attributed to the drop in MAV per share, though there is foreign exchange play involved as well. Comfort Delgo is prudent in conserving cash with their increase in cash and deposits while maintaining the cash flow. The group also facilitates various currencies for risk management purposes. Overall, Comfort Delgro is recovering, albeit at a very slow rate. With main concerns of the COVID pandemic, inflation and recession fears, the Russian and Ukraine conflict which affects oil and gas price volatility. With that, what are your thoughts on Comfort Delgro recovery? Do remember to like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again. Adios!